I'm Requiem, and I'm here to show you a new game that's just been released on Steam uh, for the past few days, and it's called Loadout. Loadout is a arena-based shooter game uh, that has some comic-y elements and gore. Uh, it is quite similar to the old-style arena games of Quake and Real, so if you like that, those kind of games, you're going to love this game. Loadout is free to play. Uh, the only things that you have to use real currency for are cosmetic things. You don't really have to worry about it. To start off, we'll look at the guns. As you can see here, we've got different loadout slots. Uh, you can unlock more weapon slots in the store with real currency if you want. Now, let's create a new weapon. We'll just pick a random name. Let's just call it Gun. And here we are, here's the gun customization screen. Here is uh, different projectiles the gun will fire. There's four different types, the rifle, launcher, pulse, and beam. And as well as that, each gun has six customizations that you can do to it. So let's try doing a rifle to begin with. So let's customize it. You can look at the gun by just dragging the mouse around like that. So let's add Take a shotgun, so let's add that part on the front, gas on the front, pick any scope, and different mag, pick shell loading, shotgun ish, but then let's pick something different as a trigger type, let's pick falling. It's not going to be the kind of thing that you would have on a shotgun, but oh well. And stock pick. Stocks don't really make that much of a difference, but yeah. You can test the gun out. As you can see, I don't have enough money to actually purchase this gun if I wanted it. But you can test it out for free anyway. So click test. And here we are in the testing arena. As you can see, there's some NPCs running around uh, for you to test your gun out on. So you can see there's one running over there. So you can test about moving targets. Let's try the gun out. Obviously it's a shotgun, so be up close. Now these NPCs will respawn when you kill them anyway. And this, uh, this falling, it's not particularly great for a shotgun, so... Uh, so yeah, that's basically the test area. But it's great for learning different types of weapons. You want to give them a try before you actually spend your money on them. Press escape to go back into the uh, weapon customization screen. And let's try out a different gun type. Let's try out Pulse. So you can see the guns visually changed, so you can see the difference between the guns just from looking at what they look like. So let's quickly uh, change this. So let's make this, this assault rifle type gun. And uh, mag. A bit thirsty. Any frame, and let's have a bio scan. Scope. Now, as you can see, you've loaded back into the same area just as you were before, and let's test this gun out. As you can see different style of fire to the other one because of the different nozzle and the little mine-shaped things. That's the projectiles that that gun fires. We go. That's the bio scanners. Then there you can see the enemy's health. Uh, you can also see friendly's health as well when you're in that scope. Now, on top of that, you can also change the gun type, well, the weapon that the gun shoots. So at the moment it's on slug, which is your normal kind of ballistics, but let's try Tesla. So we can give it electric. Now you can see the gun is greatly changed by and its looks. And you can also change the way that the bullets travel. So that's a bit bouncy. Let's see the difference in this. As you can see it does less damage, but it does do a slight AoE when it hits someone. You can hit multiple targets at the same time.
Moving on is the tech tree. Now here is where you can unlock different parts for your guns. And as you can see it's separated by the weapon type. So rifle, launcher, pulse, beam and equipment. Now each one is separated so that you have to use the gun that you want to unlock parts on. Uh, so as you can see a launcher there has got more than the rest of them as I've been using launcher and beam when I play. As you can see that there's all the different unlock types you can get and the way you work through them is by unlocking them with your currency. As you can see there I've got Tesla already and the experience has gone into it. That means you can actually upgrade it once you've put enough experience into it or you can use your currency to unlock the next part. Upgrading does give some substantial bonuses and if you find something you like then it's worth upgrading that I suppose. Uh, I haven't got to that point yet so I'm not 100% sure on the benefits of it in the long term or not. Uh, but other than that the tech tree is pretty self explanatory as you can see it's pretty standardised for pretty much any tech tree that you see in any other games. Uh, nothing special. So next is the outfitter. Here you can select which avatar you want to play as and customise him for any aesthetics that you wish to add or purchase. Uh, all aesthetics that you can get on this game are all via the real currency, real money currency should we say. Um, so any changes you want to do as you can see they're all there. Um, as it stands at the moment, there is no way to earn this currency or earn any aesthetic changes to your character via in-game currency or via just playing it. Uh, however, it is only aesthetic changes at the end of the day. It gives no benefit whatsoever. Now to loadout. This is where you choose your class, should we say. Uh, as you can see, you have two weapons and then your equipment which would be your hand grenades, or you can get different types of grenades and different equipment you have to unlock through the tech tree. Other than that, the rest of it's pretty self-explanatory. It's the same as any other kind of normal game. As you can see here is the equipment that you can get if you unlock it. And as you can tell, I don't actually have any of them yet. You do need to play for a, quite a considerable amount of time to get most of these. Okay, moving on, so actually, let's play a game, shall we? So you can see what it's like. Here we go. So here's where you pick your loadouts. Let's pick loadout one. Fight. And it's chucked me right into the middle of the game. Uh, not best, because we're quite a bit behind. But uh, let's give this a quick go. So you can see shift sprint, normal run around. And uh, there's the enemies. Quite easy to see, and you can hear the ding noise as well, if you haven't noticed, when uh, you actually hit an enemy. I've got a, a rocket launcher that's kind of trying to make like a flat cannon as my primary, and then the healing gun on the secondary. Um, it's actually quite useful. Healing does a lot of uh, points and can help out the team. Not many people actually do healing at the moment. Uh, now the point of this deathmatch isn't like just getting kills, you actually have to use the files afterwards to get the points. Kind of like the uh, dog tag mode in Call of Duty, where that's the only way you score points. You can deny kills as well by picking up your uh, allies, dead, uh, your dead allies uh, attack. You press control, you do a little jump as well, you can do that in all the directions. Try and pick up these tags. There we go. This core is now tied. There we go. And the I'm enemy dead. has scored. They are now in the lead. The enemy has four captures. Uh, respawn time is pretty low remaining. as well on these games, which is good. It keeps the action flowing. And the this is pretty is much tied. the game in its uh, finest here. Uh, you can see, just run around, blow each other up, and have fun the while enemy doing has it. Two captures so the game is filled with a lot of AOE weapons. Uh, and oh, I'm trying not to die. Um, you have lost. Yeah, I'm dead. Uh, <laughs> game over. And that's it for this loadout video. Thanks for watching. If you'd like some more videos of loadout, please let me know in the comments section, and I will get round to it. Thanks again, and goodbye.